So uh, yeah, we're here with the Ocean Pack, which is uh, on board, constantly running, taking water samples. Uh, but every now and then, we just got to check that, uh, that the data coming off this thing is good. So uh, periodically, we're going to take uh, water samples. So we've got a second water sample for this leg, and then this will get sent off to a lab, and uh, and they'll be able to check that the instrument's actually reading correctly, just to make sure the data on board is uh, is good. So we just got to uh, fill this little bottle up few times. Make sure there's no contamination. Right, so that should be good. Just a little bit out. Then we've got to take care not to touch the top because obviously we've got pretty salty hands on board and we don't want to uh, Contaminate the sample, but there we go. Second, uh, second water sample of uh, leg two, Cabo Verde to uh, Cape Town. Let's go to the lab. So yeah, we carry this uh, this Ocean Pack here on board um, 11th Hour Racing, and uh, as I was saying before, it runs 24/7, uh, just taking water samples constantly as we uh, as we sail around the globe. Uh, it's recording some some important, interesting data, things like. Uh, Salinity of the sea surface dissolves CO2, and then obviously the sea surface temperature as we go around, and then that all that information can be fed back into a, a much broader data set, which gives us really important information on uh, on the ocean, the climatology, and uh, and this data also can be used in, in things like weather modelling and, and what have you. So it's actually uh, you know for us. We're getting important data for the science community, but we're also sort of helping ourselves by uh, generating better weather information and, and, and that sort of stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a small uh, small job to carry this through for a big benefit. Array of pumps and filters, and then in various stages, there's various different sensors. So then that can uh, give all the important data on, on, on things like the salinity, the temperature, how much CO2 is in the water. You can see there's a big gas bottle on the other side, which is also part of uh, keeping the instrument calibrated. But then that water travels through and then uh, literally passes back out the other side and back into the sea. So uh, it's quite cool when you see, when you can go online afterwards and see your data set uploaded. And you, you see your track of the race course and then uh, and all that important information along the way. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a clever little thing. <laughs> So now they got this uh, water sample to compare with, uh, compare in the lab. And if everything lines up in the lab, we know the data on board is uh, is all good. It can go into the into the wider data set. So uh, yeah, good. A little bit of science on board.